Hello all, welcome back to Edgemon Tutorials. In this video, we shall discuss about the finite automata with outputs that are Moore machine and the Mealy machine. So both these machines are used for generating an output rather than acceptance of a string. Therefore, for the given tuples, the tuples for these both machines are Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0, Lambda and small delta. So both the machines are the same tuples and there is no capital F here that is the set of final states because these two machines are used for uh, generating an output rather than accepting a string or a language. So the difference between these two machines are given by the lambda function that is called as output function. So let us quickly see what is the other tuples here which are same as your finite automata. So where Q is the set of states, input states and sigma is the input symbols delta is the input transition that is the next state so it is same as q cross sigma goes to q in both the cases now coming to lambda lambda is the output function and where small delta is the set of in output symbols so in both the cases sigma denotes the input symbols and delta denotes the output symbols so the difference between both the machines is the lambda function that is an output function here so the output function of the Moore machine is q tends to delta that is the output depends on the next state where the input is taken or else where we traverse after reading the first input symbol. Now coming to the lambda function mealy machine. So here it is q cross sigma goes to delta that is here the output depends on the next state as well as the given input. Whereas in Moore machine, the output depends on purely the next state without uh, the interference of any input. So when we draw the state diagram or else the machine using the states, the Moore machine looks like this one where Q0, comma 0, that 0 indicates the output of the particular state and Q1, comma 1, 1 indicates the output of the state Q1. So the output is given within the state itself. Whereas coming to Mealy machine, Okay, so you can see that in the Moore machine after reading the symbol 1 from Q0, it generates an output 1 because Q1 state, we are going to Q1 state after reading the symbol 1 from Q0. And for example, if we read 0, so I included one more transition there, Q0 on 0 goes to 0 and Q0 on 1 goes to 1. Now if you take an input string like 0, 0 and 1, 0, now what will be the output here is, when Q0 on 0, we are again in the Q0 state, so then the output will be 0. So reading the first symbol 0, we get an output 0 and we are again in the same state Q0. Again when we read the second symbol 0, we get an output again 0, again we are in the same state Q0. And when we read the symbol 1 from Q0, we go to Q1 and then the output will generate as 1 here. And we are now in the Q1 state. So when we read symbol the last 0 in the input, so the output what that is generated is 1. So this is just as an example where the input is 0010. The output generated by the following Moore machine is 0011. So now we look at the Mealy machine. So here the machine just looks like the general DFA or is the finite automata. But here what we write is we write input by output. So that indicates Q0 on 0 gives you the output 0 here when we are in the state Q0 and q0 on 1 goes to q1 and then the output is again 1 and q1 on 0 gives the output 1 again now here there is no output that is assigned to each of the state so for example if i write any other transition like q1 on 1 and the output is 0 you can check here that when we are in the q1 state with the symbol 0 we are getting an output 1 but when we are in the q1 state with the symbol 1 we generate an output 0. So here the output doesn't depend on the state, not only on the state but also with the input symbol. So when you are coming to Q1, sometimes the output is generated is 0 and sometimes it is 1. Whereas in the Moore machine you can check that the output of the uh, next possibility is always depends on the next state. Now let us design a machine, a finite automata which generates a once complement for a given binary input. So for this uh, we are generating an output here, so which will uh, give the once component as an output here. So we design both the machines 
milli and mori for this one so once component as output for a given binary input so just made a correction for the output here so now first of all we design the mori machine so first we need to know what is the sigma and the delta here so sigma indicates the input symbol since in the question it is given as binary input so obviously the sigma contains the symbols 0 comma 1 so those are the symbols which we use in the binary number and the output is also once complement so once complement of a binary number also uh, is in terms of 0 and 1 a binary number so therefore delta is also equal to 0 comma 1 now coming with the machine so we take two states because it should generate two outputs so since there are two outputs we generally take two states q0 on 0 and q0 on 1 q1 on 1 so q0 is always generating the output 0 and q1 is always generating the output 1 now the once component is nothing but if the number given is like 0 1 1 0 definitely the once component will be the complement of that one that is 1 0 0 1 so simply we assume that the numbers are reversed so when the input is 1 it is 0 and if it is 0 the output will be 1 so whenever the input symbol is 0 we go to the output state 1 that is q1 and whenever the input is 1 we come back to the output state 0 that is q0 so in this way you can see that all the input transitions with 0 input are going to q1 and with 1 input are going, coming back to q0 so coming to the table for this one uh, this is how we represent the table that is q0 on 0 goes to q1 and q0 on 1 goes to q0 uh, this is the uh, same as the finite automator table we just add one more uh, column at the end that is output so here the output 0 is assigned to q0 and the output 1 is assigned to q1 so therefore we write the output with respect to the state now if you want to check the machine so let us take a string 10110 as the input string now when we traverse the string in the following machine it should generate the ones complement so initially we take it as uh, initial state is q0 so initially q0 on 1 so, so we did the first symbol q0 on 1 and we go back to q0 on 1 is generating to again q0 but the output is 0 there because we are going to q0 state output is 0 because on q0 on 1 we go to q0 and the output I, I think I have written that in blue you can check that the output is 0 again q0 on 0 now we go with q1 state and then the output is 1 so we write uh, 1 beside 0 so later on when q1 is on 1 again we traverse back to q0 and finally we get q0 on 0 that will generate an again uh, q1 state so we are finally at the q1 state so finally q1 will be in the q1 state and the input is completed and the output generated is 01001 which is the once complement of 10110 now we try to design this minimation for the same question here so again the sigma and delta will be same and the state doesn't have any output with respect to the state itself so here the machine can be designed with a single state that is in this way so q0 state only single state so that is the initial state and the only state present in this milli machine here when the input symbol is 0 the output will be 1 when the out input symbol is 1 the output will be 0 so the table structure will be like so there is only one state here so q0 on 0 and 1 the next state will be q0 but the delta will change because when sigma is 0 the delta will be 1 and when sigma is 1 the delta will be 0 so this will generate the uh, once complement of a given binary input even if you check a string uh, we will be in the same state but the output generated will be the complement of the given input so in the next video we can go with the design of another more machine example so which is very important and also the conversion of more machine to mill machine and vice versa if you have any other uh, questions regarding mill and more machines you can just put it in the comment so we'll try to give you the mission for that. So thank you all.